What's the fav your favorite place that you've been? The favorite place I've ever been to was Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. Yeah? Yes. Because I got to meet the president and I got to teach people about Capitol Hill and how you, bills become laws. You got to meet the president? I met the president while he was in a rose bush garden. I'll never meet the president. You don't know that for sure. The president has places to go. Yeah, but he's got his own he's got his own cars, he's got his own plane. But one day, what if he's not the president anymore? Because the truth is they still call the presidents presidents even when they're not, they're not presidents. I can't believe that doesn't cause more confusion. Usually the presidents aren't in the same place at the same time in case one of the presidents goes down. Like pilots when they're at a restaurant, they can't eat the same thing because if they get sick, then they are in trouble because they should have eaten different things. Pilots are smart. So are presidents. I went to to a restaurant with my wife and we ordered two different meals, but we both got food poisoning. We threw up for 48 hours straight, both of us. I mean, not straight. We took breaks. If you were sick, who, who made the presidential decisions? Her mother came over to help take care of us and our, and our boy. So really, she had executive powers. That's the way it should go, because that was the only time, except for one time in history, when all the presidents got sick and their mothers took over the country. It was a two-day coup d'etat mother edition.